You might call tick problems in America an epidemic. If you did, you wouldn't be wrong. We keep moving further outside our cities to where ticks are. And tick-carrying animals keep moving more and more to our backyards. It's all coming to a head with more tick-borne disease being spread around than ever before. According to veterinary parasitologist, Dr. Mike Dryden. Ticks are increasing in many places in North America. It's been well documented. Several tick species specifically have expanded dramatically in North America in their prevalence, uh, their distribution, and of course also tick transmitted disease. Uh, there are multiple different diseases that ticks transmit in the United States. I've lost track. We're over, we're over two dozen diseases now been recognized transmitted by ticks in the United States. Not only to our dogs and cats, but also to humans as well. And new tick-borne diseases are being discovered all the time. Dr. Dryden says it's kind of like the canary in the coal mine, that our best friends are actually a great sentinel about the threat of tick diseases. We consider the dog the sentinel animal for Lyme disease uh, because they get, they get exposed to more ticks and, the, and generally the ticks they get exposed to, believe it or not, have a higher degree of Lyme in them, that is the adult ticks, um, they get on dogs because on humans it's generally in the nymphal stage. So dogs are the sentinel animal. So if your dog is coming up with Lyme disease ticks and coming down with Lyme disease, you gotta be careful because you're also yeah. potentially getting exposed as well, not only you but other members of your family, absolutely. So what do we do? Well, we need to protect our dogs year round for starters. Now there are great products to keep ticks off our dogs even to kill them before they take a bite. We've got to protect our dogs year round. And here's the sad thing, by the time you notice a tick on a dog, it may be too late. That disease may already be transmitted because that disease can be transmitted in a number of hours and it is highly variable what disease and how rapidly it is transmitted. But some may be just a matter of, of number of hours, some may be a day or two, but regardless, by the time you see that tick, it's too late. And the good news for our pets not only are there products to keep the ticks away, there's also a vaccine for Lyme. That's something we don't even have. And there's also testing, easy and expensive testing, to determine if your dog has been exposed to some tick diseases. I'm a big believer that we need to be testing our dogs for tick transmitted diseases. And there are some what we call patient side tests that do that, that not only test for heartworm, but also test for a variety of tick transmitted diseases. Yes, we need to be doing that. It tells us a lot about the exposure these animals are getting. And so, yes, I'm, I'm a huge advocate, uh, advocate for that, absolutely. So speak with your veterinarian about the threat of tick disease where you live. And visit petsandparasites.org to view a map that shows you how many dogs have been tested positive for Lyme in your county? I'm Steve Dale.